The news on impeachment is exposing the hypocrisy of our politicians and bureaucracies that was fairly well hidden until now. There have always been things that seem to be strange or inconsistent in our government. Before the dawn of social media in 9-11, Walter Cronkite, with the other broadcasters from the only four major networks at that time, the government and the media were able to keep the narrative under control, with explanations few questioned. The Vietnam War and the Summer of Love started to make it popular to openly question government behavior. The lies and the incompetence of politicians who are hiding false agendas and corruption are now obvious. After 9-11, malfeasance and the reprioritizing of social issues caused an ever larger part of the population to question what it means to be patriotic, what improved security, and what following the rule of law actually means. To accept no identification of vote is insane. To allow early voting and mail-in ballots in the spirit of convenience or cost savings is an open invitation to vote for voter fraud. To not require the declaration of citizenship on census forms is absolute lunacy. To not enforce Consistent immigration policies and ways to control access into our country is insulting to those who value and treasure their citizenship. What possible explanation can be given for tolerating this other than it makes it easier to cheat our welfare system and to tater our election results? The slippery slope of corruption is ever more evident by the way the hearings on Supreme Court nominees and impeachments are conducted. Allowing only selected witnesses to make claims with no evidence to back up confusing or incredible testimony, and then not being allowed to prof fully cross-examine, is nothing close to fair. Citizenship in this country is an honor that must be preserved and appreciated. Voting is a privilege reserved for those who are members of our club. We know as the United States of America. Voting should not be done casually and made a top priority by citizens on voting day. To be a citizen guarantees the protection of the constitutional republic. If we are truly treasure our vote, it ensures that our individual rights and liberties are preserved. We are not a democracy, which is a polite way of saying mob rule, where if, if enough people get together, they can vote to take your car because you are outvoted. National security, fair elections, and trust in our rules of law are the foundation of our constitutional republic. Not having trust in our elections, our national security, and not requiring the burden of proof when voting or enforcing our laws violates every one of our core values, putting us on a slippery slope of socialism. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.